Sport Fishing on the Fly is brought to you by Togan's Fly Shop, Maui Jim Sunglasses, and Hardy Rods and Reels. So today on the bench I want to tie you up the Mop Tequila. Now the cool thing about this fly is it's similar to a tequila booby, only it's got that mop tail. So make sure you have these materials ready before you tie the fly. For the hook, we'll use a size 10 curve caddis hook, some 12 watt fluoro red thread to tie with, some six millimeter round orange foam for the eyes, some chartreuse mop chenille for the tail, and some safety orange jelly fritz for the body. So to start the fly off as we always do, I've got the hook in the vise, and we're just gonna wrap a little bit of our thread right at the head end. Put on a little bit of a base layer there for our eyes. So now that we have the thread tied in, I, we have these tubes and they come about you know, a certain length. I cut them in half and I've got enough to make two sets of eyes. Lay them on your hook about halfway, wrap in tight a couple times and tie in your eyes at the front just like you would normal booby eyes. Now that we have the eyes tied in, I've got my chartreuse mop material. So I'm going to tie it in and tie it in good and don't go right back just tie it in just barely to the bend of the hook just leave just a small space for your body and once it's tied in we want to cut it to length so what I'm going to do is I want it about as long as the hook so there's the hook length right there I'm going to go back and cut it about the length of the hook and don't cut it too short. Leave it long at first because you may actually want to cut it back if the fish aren't hitting it. So leave it long. Now that we have the tail tied in, I'm going to take my orange jelly fritz. And it's a safety orange. I like this color the best. It's quite fluorescent and bright. Tie it in the back. And then we're going to take about three to four wraps. One, two, four wraps and then tie off behind your eyes. Now that we have the body tied in, I'm going to take my thread forward and just build up a small head right at the eyelet and we're going to whip finish right there. Now that we've done the whip finish, we're just gonna trim the eyes. And again, I just leave it in the vise and just trim off those edges. And just trim them so they're somewhat round and trim it all the way around on both sets of eyes. So there it is, the finished tequila mop fly. You know, the cool thing about this fly is it's very similar to the tequila booby, you know, similar colors. But what I found is that mop, just moving in that morrow, just leaving a little bit of trail in the morrow, really seemed to attract these whitetail fish. So make sure you have some in your box.